Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you put shaving cream in your coffee cup. You're going to be saying to yourself, Andrew Jean, I should have been doing this whole time rather than scrubbing what's in here. I have four kids, by the way, so if you hear my washing machine making grumbling sounds in the background, that's what's happening. Have no fear. All right, coffee cups. Look at these rings in here. I love me some coffee. Comment below, do you also love your coffee? Like, let's get in there, okay? Even when I put it through the dishwasher, it will come out looking like this. This white mug right here will look trashy and disgusting. And if I have a guest over and I get them coffee and they look in their mug, they're like, why do you have such dirty mugs in your house? And I say, I clean it, but it's got stains all over it. Shaving cream. Obviously, you're not gonna use that much, but it's fun to look at, isn't it? You're just gonna get a little bit of shaving cream. And this works so well because, let us know, do you all know why in the comments box below? And you're gonna scrub this, scrub this, rub it. You hardly even have to scrub. You're gonna rub it around your coffee mug. Can I just say this smells absolutely fresh and amazing. You're gonna let that sit for as long as you are able to and then you're just gonna rinse it out as normal. Let me show you. Dun dun dun, moment of truth, all rinsed out. And my friend, I didn't even have to scrub. And we didn't even hardly let that sit in there. Depends on how bad your stains are and how old your mugs are. I know this is strange, but this stuff actually works. This is like the Miracle Cleaner. It smells just a hint of something fresh, and it's rich, creamy leather that spreads easily and rinses clean. All right, my friend, if you're looking for some additional shaving cream hacks, click the video on screen now. Give this video a thumbs up, sign up for the weekly newsletter, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.